All right, let's start. <sighs> Hello, morning everyone. Where's Kathy? She's missing in action. <laughs> Lost her connection. She's been like having a bad connection today. <sighs> everyone feels okay? All right, okay. Any point of time you feel that my voice is getting uh, a bit low and you need to hear it, just feel free to highlight to me. Namaste everyone, welcome to class Sunday morning. I invite you to come into child pose. In your child pose, keep your knees apart as wide as the mat. Toes together, sink into your heel, hands into the ground, walk your hands forward. Allow your forehead to rest and let your Heart melt towards to the ground. We take this moment to make a pause and just allow yourself to be centered. Focusing into the sensation of the breath. Just completely letting go of any thoughts, any feelings. Feel that sense of connection of your body that touches the ground. Let your breath be soft and long. Completely letting go towards the earth. Slowly gazing in between the palm, coming to your fingertips. Walk your hands towards to the left side. As you exhale, bow your forehead towards to the left. Feel a nice stretch into the right side of your torso. The shoulder, your arms, all the way to your fingertips. Slowly walk your hands towards the center, all the way towards to the opposite direction. To your right side, as you exhale, bow towards to your right knee. Feel a nice stretch into the left side of your body. Slowly walk your hands towards back into the center. Spread your palms towards to the ground. Five fingers touching the ground. Lift your hip, tuck your toes, make your way to downward dog. This is your first downward, downward facing dog. So go ahead, just follow your feet side to side. Stretch the back of your legs. Stay in your downward facing, but just go ahead, model your feet side to side. Just move slow, feel each movement. You can move the hip as well, side to side, if that feels good. Moving the body in such a way that feels good for you. You can soften the shoulders, soften the hip. And slowly finding your stillness in your downward facing dog. Push the palm towards to the floor, lifting your buttons high towards to the sky. Bring your heel closer towards to the ground. We 
you shift your body forward, coming into a plank. Lower your knee, your hip, your chest into the ground. Push into the palm, lift into the chest, baby cobra. Tap your toes, make your way to down. So if you have been practicing yoga for a while and chaturanga, up chaturanga, up for dog or cobra is in your practice, just go ahead, use your vinyasa flow. One more full breath in your tower dog. Stuff your right foot in between the palm. You can stop one. And if you find your foot still not in the middle of your palm, just go ahead, wiggle, wiggle the front foot. And if you have lats, you can always use the front. Bring the left knee to the ground, lats in the back foot and to the ground. Fingertips into the floor, or if you have black, just go ahead and use a black color support that feels good for you. Fingertips into the ground, just look forward. Feel the left side of your abdomen touching your right inner thigh. We'll chill here for a bit, just focusing towards warming up your left hip flexor. And very slowly, I want you to lift your torso up. Inhale into the chest. Exhale the rib gauging. Engaging the core. Inhale. Exhale. Now, from here, I want you to send your arm towards to the sky. Feel that some uh, lengthening towards the side of your body. Yeah. So you're not sinking your hip forward. I want you to lift into your torso. Lift, lift the upper body up. One more full breath with the sum of pulling your arm towards the sky. As you exhale, slowly twist over towards the right side. Turn your right palm back and wrap the right arm around you. The back of your right palm is into the other side of your hip. Left hip. Right? Your back of your left hand just on the outer side of your right knee. You're making a twist. Inhale into the center. Exhale, squeeze and twist some more towards the right side. Slowly and twist. Send your arms back towards the sky. As you exhale, low lunge. Sink your hip towards to the ground, open the chest, lift, let your heart shine towards the sky. Half split, slowly pulse into the ground, again you need support to your head, slowly straighten the front leg, flexing the front foot. I'm demonstrating with the use of the block, you can use like this way. Alright. Those who, are, who don't have a block, just fingertips into the ground. If you're using the fingertips into the ground, just be mindful of the weight that you're putting into your fingers. If you want to deepen the stretch, if this is just an option, walk your hands forward. When you feel that your belly touching your right thigh, fold forward towards your front leg. Otherwise, keep gazing forward, send your heart forward. To avoid you rounding the back. Slowly bending the front knee. Coming to runner's lunge, tuck your back toes, lifting your back knee off the ground. Runner's lunge. Face forward. Keep your back leg straight and strong. Engage your back leg. If you're lifting your hip, bring your hip a little bit down. Alright? From here, we'll come into your cross leg forward fold. Stopping your left foot behind the right foot. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. 
lift, face forward, exhale, fold. One more, inhale, send your heart forward, exhale, bow down. Inhale, open the arms, rise up. Interlace your fingers above your head. Index finger pointing towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen into the side of the body. Exhale as you lean your body towards to the left side. Feel a nice stretch into the right side of the torso. Inhale, slowly come all the way up, back into the center. Hands into prayer in front of your chest, Anjali Mudra. And release the arms into the side. Let's stretch the arms. Inhale as you lift the left hand towards the sky. Make a big circle into your left arm. Right arm. Make a big circle into your right arm. Both arms. Inhale, lift both arms towards the sky. Palms together above the head. Hinge from the hip as you forward fold. Fingertips into the ground or into your support, all right? From here, we'll come into a standing split. Bring your weight towards the right foot and lift your left leg towards the sky as high as you can. Bow towards your front leg. Inhale, gazing forward, bend in the front knee with control runner's lunge. Bring your toes back into the ground at the back of your mat. Of that, palms into the ground, make your way downward dog. Let's flow into your vinyasa, shifting the weight forward. Now choose the option, half chaturanga, full chaturanga, or just simply lower your body all the way towards the ground. Inhale to full cobra, upward dog, downward facing dog. Inhale to the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. We'll do the same flow into the other side. One more full breath in your downward dog. As you exhale, step in your left foot in between the palm. Right knee to the ground, relax the back foot. All right, fingertips into the ground. Let your chest open towards the front. Now your left other side of Abdomen touching your left side. All right, slowly lift your torso up. You can bring the hands into the knees so you can help to lift the torso. Inhale into the chest. Exhale, rib cage in. You know, when you're wearing a corset dress, imagine that somebody's tightening up the corset of the dress behind you. So that sensation, you, want, you don't want to pop the ribcage forward, you want to hug it to the ribcage, belly in. Slowly send your arms both towards to the sky, feel the sense of lengthening into the side of the body. As you exhale, twist over towards to the left side. Wrap your left arm behind you, right hand onto the other side of your left knee. Keep twisting into your left side. Slowly and twist. Sending both arms towards the sky, low lunge, sink your hip more towards the ground, open the chest, gaze up. As you exhale, slowly palms into the ground, half split. Straighten the front leg, bring your hip back, flex your front foot. Again, you can use the support if you need to. If this is already challenging, by all means, by all means, stay here. If you want to deepen the stretch, just an option. Walk your hands forward. 
keep gazing forward. So if your flexibility allows and you're feeling the belly already touching the front thigh, just go ahead, bow forward towards the front leg. Otherwise, keep gazing forward and send your heart forward. So avoid you rounding the back. Slowly bending the front knee. Alright? Back your back toes. We come into a runner's lunge. Lifting your back knee off the ground. Let your breath be long and deep. Use your long ujjayi breath, breathing through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Well, come into your cross leg forward fold with control. Bring your right foot behind the left foot. Fold forward towards your legs. Inhale, half lift. Flatten your back. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, send the heart forward. Exhale, bow. Open the arms into the side. Inhale as you rise up. Interlace your finger, index finger pointing towards the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, lean your body towards to the right side. Slowly coming all the way up back into the center. Anjali Mudra, hands into prayer in front of your chest. Release the arms into the side. Stretch the arm, lifting the right arm towards the sky. Make a big circle into your right arm. Left arm, make a big circle into your left arm. Open the arms into the side. Inhale, palms together above your head. Exhale, hinge from the hip forward fold. Again, your support if you need to, or fingertips into the ground. Preparing yourself to standing straight. Bring the weight into the front foot, lifting the right leg towards the sky as high as you can. Now, bending the front knee, runner's lunge, with control, your back foot towards to the back of the mat. Yeah. Palms into the ground, downward facing down. Flow into your vinyasa, choose the option, coming into your plank, lower into the ground. As you inhale, open the chest, knees up. Tuck your toes downward, facing down. We will flow in the, into the same sequence, but a little bit more faster, one breath, one flow. Stepping your right foot in between the palm, back knee to the ground. Palms into the knee, lift into your torso up. Inhale, we raise the arms towards the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, twist over towards the right side. Drop your right arm behind you, left hand outside of the left knee. Feel twisting into the spine, gaze towards to the back. Inhale, slowly come back into the center, standing the arms towards the sky. Exhale, low lunge, sink your hip, let your heart shine towards the sky. Half split as you exhale, palms into the ground, straighten the front leg, flexing the front foot. Bring your hip towards to the back into your half split. Bending the front knee, runner's lunge, lifting your back knee off the ground. Coming into your cross leg forward fold, stepping your left foot behind the right foot, fold forward into your left. Inhale, send your heart forward. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, open the arms to the side, rise up. Interlace your finger, index finger pointing towards the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, lean your body towards the left. 
inhale, come back into the center, hands into prayer in front of your chest, release the arms into the sky. All right, arms stretch, lift in the left arm, make a big circle into your left arm. Other side, right arm, make a big circle into your right arm. Inhale, open the arms, palms together above the head, pinch from the hip as you forward fold. Hands into the ground, fingertips, standing split. Lifting the left leg, toe into the sky as high as you can. Bending the front knee, runner's lunge. Ground your palms into the floor, downward facing dog. Flow into your vinyasa, shifting the weight forward, coming into your plank. Choose your option, lower the body all the way towards the ground. Lift into the chest, full cobra, upward dog. Tuck your toes, make your way to down, raising down. Full breath, inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. Preparing yourself to the other side, stuffing your left foot in between the palm, back knee to the ground, fingertips towards the floor. Bring your palms towards the knee, lift your torso up. Inhale into the chest, rib caging. Send your arms towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale as you twist over towards the left side. Drop your left arm behind you. Right hand towards outer side of the left knee. Keep twisting your spine all the way towards the back. Slowly and twist, reaching your arm towards the sky, low lunge. Sink your hip a little bit more deeper, over the chest. As you exhale, palms into the ground, half split. Straighten the front leg, flexing the front foot. Your left toes pointing towards you. Again, if you want to deepen the stretch, just go ahead and walk your hands forward. As you exhale, bending the front knee, runner's lunge, tucking your back toes, lifting your back knee off the ground. Back leg straight and strong. Cross leg forward fold, stepping your right foot behind the left foot, forward fold. Inhale, send the heart forward. Exhale, fold. One more, inhale, half lift. Flat at the back, exhale as you bow forward. Inhale, rise up, come all the way up. Interlace your finger above your head, index finger pointing towards the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, lean your body towards the right side. Inhale, come back into the center. Hands take a prayer in front of your chest, Anjali Mudra. Hands into the side. Arm stretch. Make a circle into your right arm. Big circle. Left arm. Feel the stretch into your arm as you do this. Both arms. Inhale. Rise up. Palms together above the head. Hinge from the hip as you forward fold. Fingertips into the ground or into your Forward standing split. Lifting the right leg towards the sky as high as you can. Bending the front knee, runner slouch, with control. Alright, palms into the ground, downward facing down. Push into your palm, buttocks high. Flow into your vinyasa, shift in the way forward into your plank. Choose your vinyasa, simply lower body all the way through. Lift into the chest, full cobra, upward dog. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Full breath, inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. Slowly bring your knees onto the ground. Make your way into child pose. In your child pose, arms next to your body, palm facing towards the sky. Sink your hip towards the heel. Forehead into the ground. Just rest into your child pose. 
take a moment to do your child pose, catch your breath. Okay, cross, die. <laughs> All right, pause into the ground, make your way to downward facing that. Bring your foot together, big toes touching into a downward facing dog. All right, stuffing your right foot in between your palm, we come and see a warrior one. So I want you to ground the back foot 45 degree. Bending the front knee, coming into your warrior one. Keep your palms, up, keep your arms apart, just gaze forward. Wherever you are, shoulder relaxed, gaze forward into your warrior one. Alright, in your warrior one, your back leg straight and strong. Slowly straight the front leg. So this time, both legs are straight. Inhale here. Exhale to fold forward, lower to the front leg. If this is too much, micro bend the front knee, inhale, look forward, exhale as you fold forward, the legs to the front leg. Bear in mind, if too much into the front leg, then always micro bend. One more full breath. Slowly. Bending the front knee, come back into your warrior one. Sending the arms towards to the sky. Humble warrior, interlace your finger behind your back. Knuckles of your fingers pointing towards to the ground. Keep your front knee bent. Inhale, arch the back, face up. And exhale, so forward fold inside your right foot. Feel tension into the front leg, just stick into your front leg, keep your front thigh engaged. Inhale slowly, come all the way up, back into the center, warrior one, sending the arms forward to the sky. Bend the elbow into the side, inhale, arch into the back, look up. Cactus. Slowly send the arms forward to the sky. With control, palms into the ground, downward facing down. Flow into your vinyasa. Choose the option into your vinyasa. You can just follow me, plank. Lower your body all the way towards the ground. Lift into the chest. Foot cobra for dog. Tuck your toes downward, facing down. Stepping your left foot in between the palm. Warrior one. Grounding the back foot. Stand the arms towards the side. So I want you to square the hip towards the front. Adjust the back foot if you need to. Shoulder relax. Slowly straight in the front leg. Inhale here. Exhale, bow forward, over to the front leg. Again, you have an option to micro bend the front leg. Inhale, half lift. Exhale as you fold. Bending the front knee, warrior one, and the arms lower to the sky. Alright, this time. You know what's coming, humble warrior, into the your finger behind your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades in, let your chest open. Bend the front knee. Exhale as you bow forward inside your left knee. Keep your front leg engaged, your left side engaged. Use your 
your long ujjayi breath to get the strength. One more full breath into your humble work. Slowly come all the way up. Straight the arms towards the sky, warrior one. Bend the elbow into the side, open the chest, gaze up. Sending the arms back into your warrior one. Palms into the ground, downward facing the everyone. Flow into your vinyasa, shifting the weight forward. Choose the option into your vinyasa or lower the body all the way towards the ground. Open the chest for cobra or upward dog, hugging to your arm closer towards the ribcage. Tap your toes downward, facing up. Inhale to the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. Doing great. Bring your knees into the ground. You sit into your virasana or to your pose. Sit into your heel. Hands into your thigh with your palm facing towards the sky. Inhale into the chest. As you exhale, pull the belly in. Sink your bottom towards the heel. Bring the spine into one straight line. Draw up the head towards the sky. Just stay here. Just chew it into your own breath. Let your breath be soft. Open the eyes. How's everyone? <laughs> Active Monday morning. <laughs> Balls into the ground. Bring your knees slightly back. We come into your pigeon. Bring the right knee behind the right wrist. Adjust the back foot. Make sure your back leg is relaxed and straight into one straight line. All right. So as you come here, you find that you're sinking towards the right side into your feet. Now you want to bring the hip into level position. You want to ground into your left other side of your left thigh. To do that, bring the left forearm onto the ground. All right? Keep the right palm into the ground. So pressing your right palm against the floor, so leaning the body towards to the left side to the left other side. So again. You can bring the heat slightly onto the center. You're finding the center equal distribution of weight into both sides. Once you find that, bring your right forearm into the ground. Alright? As you exhale, walk your hands forward. Allow your forehead and chest to melt towards the ground. We will stay in your pigeon for 10 long breaths. So you will feel a sensation of stretch into your glutes. So you might feel it into your right back cheek or maybe into the other side of your right thigh. So we have an IT band that connected from our lower back to the glutes all the way to the outer side of the right knee. So you might feel it into the outer side of the right thigh. If you have a tight hip flexor, you might feel the swell into your front of your left side. So wherever you're feeling, just notice where the stretch. Become more aware of the sensation rather than just doing the pose based on instruction. Become more aware of the sensation where you feel your stretch. Two more full cool breaths into your pigeon. Slowly walk your hands back. Alright? Tap your back toes, shifting your back knee a little bit forward. Alright? And straighten that right leg and shake that right leg to release the tension. 
bring your right toes into the ground, press into your palm, bring the weight towards your uh, right heel. So you want to stretch the back of your right leg. Slowly bring the right knee to the ground. We do it into the other side, bring the left knee behind the left wrist. So go ahead, tap your back toes and adjust the back leg, make sure it's straight and relax. Again, you're kind of feeling uh, bring the weight into the left here. So we want to ground towards the right side this time. So bring your right forearm into the ground, pressing your left palm towards the floor. You want to sit towards the outer side of your right thigh. Alright, you can wiggle the hip, finding your comfort and center. Once you find center, forearm, left forearm into the ground. And just allow your heart, forehead, melt over to the ground into your pigeon. Stay in your pigeon. So you might notice that one, one side of your body is much tighter than another. So it's normal. Sometimes we have a more stronger side. So it appears to anyone. So one side of the hip might be tighter than another. Just notice the sensation. It's becoming more aware where your thigh is. Full breath into your region. Slowly walk your hands back. All right. Tap your back toes, shifting the back knee a few inches forward, and straighten that left leg. Straight that left leg. Release the tension. Tap your left toes into the ground, press your palm, bring the weight into your left heel. So you want to stretch the back of your left leg and move the hip if you want to. Release the tension. Alright, well done everyone. Bring your knees back into the ground. We still have time. Ah. Stretch this morning. <laughs> Alright, bring your knees into the ground. What am I doing? Okay, coming to Malasana. Foot into the ground, into the edge of the mat. Your toes pointing the opposite direction. Hands into prayer in front of your chest. Let's stretch your, your inner thigh. Sit into your Malasana. If you find this very challenging, if you have a block, just go ahead, sit into a block. Right. We'll stay here for five long breaths. Your elbow is pressing towards to the knee. Your knee pressing towards to your elbow. So this pose is kind of important in our, in our daily lives because from time to time we need to squat. So it's important that we, we have this squat, strong squat. Right. All right, fingertips into the ground, very slowly straight and go legs. Bring your toes in, bring your foot, wiggle the foot, bring the foot into hip width distance apart. Fold forward towards the leg. I want you to soften the knee, open the arms into the side, keep your spine straight as you lift your body all the way up. Bring your palms together, palm the head. Hands into Anjali Mudra to heart center, release the arms into the side. Ha, well done. All right, let's do a, ban a balancing sequence. Let's do, uh, all right, front leg. Okay, I want to do a bit more challenging. <laughs> Hands into the hip, 
bring the right knee closer towards the chest. If you find imbalance, you might prevent the standing leg, all right? Interlace your finger towards the right shin bone. Bring the right knee closer towards the chest. Flex the right foot, all right? If you find very unbalanced, bring, come into closer towards the wall so you, you have a support over here. Okay, with your left hand half holding to the shin bone or bring it to the hip so you have a support. Your index and middle finger hooking into your right big toe. Inhale into the chest, keep your spine straight. As you exhale with control, straighten that right leg towards the front. Now, if too much for you, you can always micro bend, right? You can micro bend the right leg, or if you feel a balance, micro bend the standing leg. Choose the option that feels good for you. If you have a belt to hold into the foot, just go ahead do so. Otherwise, raise the right leg. So the direction you want to bring is your arm shoulder level, and you bring the right leg as high as you can. It's challenging, isn't it? Alright, bending the right knee and slowly release. If you have a towel or a belt like this, how about you can feel your yoga belt? So this is a great support. So imagine this is a towel. I will demonstrate with towel since one of my students is with a towel right now. <laughs> So a long towel, a hand towel would be a great, great support. If you want to work towards right, straightening the leg, all right? This time, bring the weight into the right foot. Bring the hands into the hip. Now very slowly, bring the left knee closer towards the chest. Interlace your finger and bring your knee closer towards the chest, all right? Hands into the right hip. Again, hook your index and middle finger to your left big toe. Or you can use a towel or a belt like this. Micro bend the standing leg if you feel unbalanced. Inhale here. As you exhale, straighten that left leg. Again, you can interlace, hook the index and middle finger toe into the big toe. That's the full expression. But what I'm showing to you is a modified. So you can focus towards stretching the left leg. Don't have the support, you can always micro bend the knee. One more full breath. Slowly bending the left knee and release. Ah, shake those legs. Shake, shake, shake. All right. Bring your foot as wide as the mat. Hands into the hip. Bring your body as low as the back. Make a circle into your hip. Big circle into your hip. Just release the tension. You can move slow so you can feel each one. Two more into this direction. One more big circle. And opposite direction. You're having a productive Sunday with me. <laughs> Goodbye into the center. Bring your foot together. Make the stretching. All right, open the arms to the side. Inhale, gather the chi, palms together, about the head. Hinge from the hip as you forward fold. Inhale into half the flat in the back. Exhale as you fold. Bending the knees, bring your knees into the ground. Hands sit into your heel. Sit into one side and straighten both legs into the front. Shake those legs, shake, shake, shake. All right. Okay. So bending the right knee, bring the right knee closer to the chest and open the right knee into the side. All right. Uh, this position is option one. You can stay here, right knee pointing towards the right side with sole of your left, right foot pointing, facing towards your left side. This is option one. Option two, um, half lotus. Bring your left, right foot 
until the top of your left inner thigh. Left at the top of your left thigh. If your knee is lifting off the ground, work towards bringing the knee down. Alright? Use your elbow. Don't overly push. Use your weight. Left hand towards the shin bone or ankle. Use your weight to ground the right knee into the floor as you forward fold. Alright? This is just another option, but if you feel that your knees are already on the ground, so you can hook your index in middle, bring the knee to the center, and wrap your right arm behind you. This is a more advanced practice. Bring both shoulder facing towards the ground. So I'm hooking my index and finger, uh, index and middle finger towards the you know, my, to my big toe. All right. Let's choose the option. Shoulder facing towards the front. Inhale here. Exhale as you fold. Again, you can bring the elbow into the knee and slightly press or just hands into the shin bone ankle and fold forward. Right? If you feel that wrapping the arm behind you is very challenging, it's okay to fold into the shin bone ankle. That's okay. Inhale, land and spine the forward. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Alright. If you find this uh, pose very challenging because this is the full expression of the pose, again, take the option that feels good for you. You don't need to aim the perfect asana of your proposals. Slowly releasing the right leg towards the front and shed the right leg. Alright, I'll face the side so you can see my body. Bending the right knee, bring the right knee closer towards the chest. Now I want you to bring the right foot outside your left knee. Alright? With your hand, I want you to pull your knee closer to the chest while pushing the chest forward. So you want to bring the knee as closer as you can towards to the chest, right? Pull the knee closer to you while pressing the chest forward. You want to bring the spine to one straight line. Keeping your right hand hugging into the chest, lifting the left arm towards the sky, hug your left arm, drop your left arm towards to the right knee. All right? Again, if hugging into the right knee, pressing the chest forward. Right hand behind your back into your fingertips, try not to bring the palms into the ground because it tends to uh, sink towards to the right uh, shoulder. Fingertips into the ground, inhale here. Exhale, you to twist over towards to the right side. So this is a spine pose. The intention is to twist your spine in relation to fake uh, into your heel. Slowly and twist. You want to twist into the opposite side, just a quick one to count the pose. Slowly and twist, come back into the center and straighten that right leg towards the front. Then shake that right leg. Okay, bend the left knee, left knee to the side. Alright. Again, option you can just place your knee and your foot into the ground. This is option one. Option two, your foot into the above your right side. Again, if my knee is off the ground, I use my elbow and use my body weight to fall forward. If you want to practice the full expression, just go ahead and do so, or you can bring the hands into the front leg. Whatever you can do, inhale, bend your heart forward. Exhale as you fall. Come all the way up, back to the center. Slowly release the pose. Alright, this time I want you to bring your left foot outside. 
the right knee. Get into these, your finger towards the knee, press your closer down to the chest, but pushing the chest forward. Lifting the right arm towards the sky, hug into the right, that uh, left knee. Bring the knee closer towards the chest, up. Left hand behind your back into your finger. Inhale as you lengthen into the center. Exhale, you squeeze your spine towards the left side. Slowly and twist to the opposite side. That's a quick one. And come back to the center. Straighten that left leg. Shake those legs. Alright. Point your toes. Flex. Point the toes and flex. Squeeze the tension into the ankle. Your toes make a circulation into your ankles. And opposite direction. Alright. Okay. Lie down to your back. Now it's to bend your knees, foot into the ground where your knees pointing towards the sky. Alright? So I want you to bring the right knee closer towards your chest. Bring the right ankle on the top of your left knee. Alright? So you want to create a number four shape into your leg. Keep your left foot into the ground. With your right hand. Bring the right arm underneath your right leg. Bring the left knee closer to the chest. Again, interlace your finger behind your left thigh or into the left shin bone. Use your right elbow to press into the right thigh as you inhale. As you exhale, pull the knee closer towards the chest while bring the right elbow pressing towards to the right thigh. So, you kind of want to feel the stretch into right foot. So, you might feel it into your right buttocks or into other side of your right leg. And at the same time, you want to ground your lower back into the floor. So, this holds target many areas into your body. So, this is a nice release into your lower back. You wanna, we, we want to lower your lower spine into the floor. Two more full press here. And very gently release. Release the right leg down, switching to the other side. Left ankle and the top of the right. Alright. Bring the knee closer towards the chest. Now left hand underneath your left leg into the hole inside. Interlace your finger to the uh, out, um, behind your thigh or in your shin bone. Use the left old elbow to press into the left thigh. Left thigh while pressing your right knee closer towards the chest. Now just focus towards the sensation. Where, where are you feeling the, the sensation of the stretch? Or maybe you're noticing that, oh my, that is much tighter than the other. One more full breath here and slowly release. Bring the knees closer towards the chest, hand into the knees, lift your head, bring the forehead towards the knee, take a ground in the head. And very slowly massage your lower back into the floor, move the body side to side, side to side, Just massage into the back. Alright, so from here I want you to bring your foot into the ground, be pointing towards the sky. Your right, right leg on the top of the left knee. Bring the knees closer towards the chest. With your left hand, ground your knees towards the left side. Gaze towards the right side. You're making your final twist. 
the night, squeeze into your spine. And very slowly and twist, come back into the center, switching legs. Alright, this time with the left leg on the top of the right. Bring the knees closer towards the chest. With your right arm, bring the knees towards the right side, place towards the left. Just feel a nice twist into your spine. We're slowing down now. Just relax the muscles. Start with letting go. Slowly and twist. I'll straighten both legs. You can shake the legs or find your last adjustment into your body and make your way into your sabhashna. Again, if you're still holding any tension into the body, just go ahead do some movements that feels good for you. Otherwise, send your hip down into the ground, your legs apart, your arms next to your body with your palm facing towards the sky. Let your fingers naturally curl. We will stay in your sabashna for two minutes. Find your finding your stillness in your sabashna. Rest your head towards the middle around. Allow your Allow your forehead to relax. Your cheek, your chin are totally relaxed. Your shoulder relax into the ground. Feel your spine into the ground. Let your legs relax. Your toes. Feel that sense of letting go into the body. Just completely surrender your body towards to the earth. Finding your peace in your sabashna. We will stay in your sabashna for two minutes and enjoy. Slowly bringing your awareness back to the body, feeling your toes, feeling your fingers, making light movement, turning your head side to side, side to side, slowly waking up. Bring your legs together, interlace your finger above your head, and make a big stretch as you know. As you exhale, let it go. Bring the knees closer towards the chest. 
Inhale, hands to your knees. Lean your body towards to the right side. Make a pillow of your right arm. Keeping your eyes closed with the support of your left palm in front of your chest. Push into the left palm towards the floor and making your way to sit down. Keep your eyes closed. Making your way into your cross leg seated position. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Let it go. Bring your hands to the brain in front of your chest. Thank you for sharing your energy today. Namaste, everyone. Thank you. Happy Sunday. Tomorrow is no work day. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you.